Hi guys, welcome to this week's Tuesday training session with your sports scientist, part of the seven day sports scientist series of blogs, bringing a professional sports science service to everybody. We're on all the social media sites shown below there. If you're not already following us and you're on those sites, follow us, share these links, let other people know about us, let's grow the community. If you want to be part of the WhatsApp group when that's launched, send us your mobile number to the email address at the bottom of the page and you'll get these blogs sent straight to you as they're released. The YouTube channel, if you subscribe, can also do that. You'll be sent the link as soon as the blogs are put online so you can access them without having to search through the internet for them. We're easy enough to find on the social media sites. We're your sports scientist. Um, we'd, we've just launched the online sports scientist service in 2017 so if you want to book your free consultation for that email us contact us on social media we'll have that free initial consultation and we'll set up your plan for 2017 and beyond to to optimize your performance and help you own 2017 and beyond this week's training session is a brick session for those of you who are from triathlon or duathlon backgrounds you'll know all about bricks the session is designed to improve your transition from bike to run and optimize your performance in the bike and the run elements. We're also going to work on the transition from the run back to the bike if you're a duo athlete. So the session can be performed as a bike and a run. It has to be performed as those. Session looks like a warm-up of 10 minutes, nice and easy on the bike with two 10-second bursts just to get the legs used to working at the power output that we're going to be using for the session then into the main element of the session which is a 10 minutes bike effort at an rpe of 8 out of 10 so you really want to go for it it's close to your maximum power it's close to your lactate threshold if you've done that test on the bike you're then going to go straight from the bike take the shoes off put your runners on into a one kilometer maximal effort run so you could do this in a gym you could do this at home you can do this out on the road. You can find a 10 minute loop back to where you started. Then you can do the transition. You do it in the gym on the watt bike, straight onto the treadmill, or you can set the turbo up at home. You can do the 10 minute turbo session. Then you can jump off the bike into your runners and do the 1K effort on the road, just somewhere that you know that you're going to be able to, to post a good time. Repeat it three times so it's 45 minutes of high intensity work. It's going to increase that lactate threshold. It's going to increase your, your um, VO2 max by peripheral adaptations. That's in the muscles and in the heart and lungs itself. Cool down is five minutes. So it's three 15-minute blocks plus another 15. We're looking at around about an hour to do the session. It's something that I want you to keep in there once a week as your tempo session, as part of your training schedule. So it fits nicely in. Make sure you've got a relatively easy day before and after because it's quite intense. It's gonna leave a lot of fatigue in the muscles and we don't wanna be causing overuse injuries. Just to recap the session then, the 10 minute warm up on the bike with those two efforts, 10 minutes on the bike at an effort level of eight out of 10, a 1K run at max effort, looking about three to four minutes for that. Three repetitions of that and a five minute cool down. Keep it in there once a week. You're gonna notice some significant improvements in performance. You can even time that transition from bike to run, run to bike to see how effective you are at that and monitor your progress through that. Share the session on social media. Tweet us your RPEs. Let us know how hard you find it out of 10. If you're interested in the online sports scientist, Send us an email, we'll book that free consultation in with you and we'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday workouts where we can complement the training with a strength and conditioning session in the gym. Good luck with today's session and I'll see you tomorrow.